Hi viewers, we have Dr. Sri Ram Devnathan, Chairperson, Department of Chemical Engineering, Amrita School of Engineering, Amrita Vishwavidya Pidam, Etimade Coimbatore. Welcome to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. If somebody asks you, what should I do after my B.Tech? Should I start a company of my own, take up entrepreneurship, or should I seek placement, or should I go for higher studies? What is your personal recommendation okay. to a student who comes to you seeking yes. your help? Over to you, sir. So it's an important question. Now it turns out that uh, we are all uh, we all have our own unique strengths and skills and and uh, interests. So for each person, the answer is possibly different. And uh, what we try to do is uh, guide the students. Uh, we try to get them to recognize what their core strengths are. And then we try to help them identify the areas that might be suitable for them. But we, we try not to just tell them this is right for you. Because we want the student to discover that for themselves. But we say these are the options. What do you think? And we find that the students are absolutely capable of making that choice, provided we show them what the options are. So now, when we think about uh, the options for the chemical engineers, if I do a broad classification, number one, they could consider going for higher studies. Absolutely. And there's lots of uh, opportunities out there. Uh, it turns out... Higher studies within or uh, outside? So this is where it's interesting. Chemical engineers used to be called universal engineers. Engineers, okay. And that's because they have such a breadth of all the things that they learn. So you can get into environmental engineering, you can get into uh, civil engineering with the materials focus, you can get into electronics with the materials focus, you can get into environmental management, you can get into sustainability in chemical engineering. There's tons and tons of opportunities out there. And so recognizing this, universities across the world, especially the top tier universities, they actually are looking for such diversity. So you'll find that outside India especially, they take chemical engineers into many different departments like this. They take them into aerospace, they take them into electrical, they take them into electronics, they take them into uh, petroleum, they take them into plastics, uh, bio, bio engineering, biochemical engineering, uh, so a host of them. Plus there's management in combination with all of these areas. For example, oil management. So there's a great need for that. So our students end up with a combination of the core plus the management as well. Now every year we find that our students, at least about 15 of them, prefer going um, for higher studies abroad. So when, when and, you say about the higher studies, you know, yeah. you need to crack GRE, right? Uh, to do your MS abroad. Yes. And uh, it isn't that easy to qualify yourself in the GRE. And what support from your department is given yes. to the students who opt to take up okay. uh, higher studies across the maybe the top ten, top hundred okay. universities. So, yeah. what? How do you make them uh, feel comfortable clearing those GREs? Sure. Actually, for the US, you need the GRE, and uh, sometimes uh, some of the universities in uh, Singapore may need it. But other countries, they don't need GRE. What it's about Canada this, something and that Europe. TOEFL and IELTS uh, also need they to need, be? Yes, they yes. need TOEFL. But our students, because the medium of, medium of instruction is English, okay. they are doing very well in TOEFL. TOEFL There's no okay. problem at all. So, uh, but with that, they're able to get to Australia, New Zealand. They're able to get to all uh, most of the countries in Europe uh, and Canada and Singapore um, and uh, even the... Uh, even uh, Abu Dhabi and Dubai oh, right. as well. Okay. Yes. Uh, and then, so that is just the higher studies part. Then what about gate? Students... What about gate? That's for okay. the Indian universities. Yes. You need to clear the gate to get into Correct. your post graduation. Correct. Our students also write gate. Now we we find that a lot of them seem to prefer going abroad. Okay. No, as okay. opposed to studying in okay. India, a uh, few of them do write and they have qualified. For those interested students, the faculty, uh, especially those who are close by or live on campus, we try to provide Perfect. special co oh, coaching right. for them. Wonderful. But in addition to that, those of them who want a little more rigorous coaching through a uh, coaching institute, uh, we facilitate having the training either here or in Coimbatore and we give uh, some uh, provisions to uh, have them allow the class, uh, you know, the. Um, flexibility to attend the classes over okay. there. So the majority so of them are preferring to they move? They prefer to go abroad and go they're abroad. able to do it. So yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. What about yeah. internship in your department? Internships are excellent. In fact, uh, I remember when I joined about 14 years ago, we used to try and arrange internships for them. 
about six years we were doing that. After that, for uh, some reason, I don't know what shifted, but the students were able to uh, manage on their own. Wow. So they said, we, we don't want your help. Uh, we'll get my, awesome. my father, my uncle, <laughs> my aunt, somebody or the other is helping and they said okay. we are getting the internship. So we just kind of said, okay, fine, uh, just make sure that you do something worthwhile with the, with the five weeks of internship. But the trend has been very good, either after the second year or definitely after the third year, they do an internship in the industry. And that actually is very valuable when they apply for higher education as well. So